What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to yet another video on Selenix Crypto. Welcome, it's good to have you here. Um, and in this video, I wanted to co co cover the math token, uh, which is the token in, in the whole math crypto ecosystem. Uh, the main website is listed as, as a wallet. I think they got multiple services too. Um, but it has been very bullish over the last few days, mainly the last day actually. Before that, we also went up from 12 cents to like 15 cents. Um, and that most of this was due to the listing on Coinbase Pro and, and Coinbase. I already saw that earlier. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Um, if, if you wanna see these listings as soon as possible, you can just uh, join the Discord. We got a bot there. Um, but I actually, if I, if I remember correctly, um, I saw that it, th this got listed the 21st of, of June already. So I so so this was already already the move for it being listed. So we still got a huge move after that. Uh, volume right there was still around a million, and now it's around 20, 20, 24, 30 million. So then um, I I don't know. I just felt like I had to cover it now because this move wasn't only caused by the uh, addition on Coinbase. I think there's more, but I'm not sure what. So um, I gotta be honest. It's always hard to to analyze cryptos when when a, a bull run like this happens, right? So bear with me, but we're going to try as hard as possible. Um, having said that, this will be more of a price analysis rather than a price prediction, right? I mean, predicting the price right now, I mean, um, we're in a bear market, so I think it's going to fall, but um, that's a little bit unoriginal, of course. So the main thing, we hit this 50 cent level, which is a big psycholo psychological resistance level. I think that was the last top. But I also think that there is a small opportunity right now for the math token to actually get back up there and the main thing we would need to do and, and and that's also what we did in the past two hours we would need to break above 33 cents and stay above this level here between 35 and 33 cents you can see that that's a highly congested area full of support so if we can actually stay on top of that level i think that would be great you can see that we already uh, rejected down to 30 cents so it's not looking it's it's not looking up for uh, math right now that we can stay above that but if we can stay above that for the next let's say 12 hours i actually do think that after breaking above 40 cents that we can get back up to 50 cents i don't think we can extend the bull run i do think that we can kind of level it and, and get get back up to the same top um however i do expect that if we drop down through that 33 cent level so if we close below that i think we're then just going to fall down to 25 cents maybe find some support there but afterwards, I do expect that we'll drop down to, um, well, 20 cents at the very least. Um, yeah, let's just say 20 cents. 20 cents is the first support level upon which I think we can find some stronger support. But there's no guarantee that we won't fall any further. We would have to evaluate and analyze it again based on what happens at the 20 cent level. Um, so, yeah, that was my, my short little update and, and short prediction uh, on, on math for now. If you do have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments. But as for now, thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.